Um, I started playing basketball at like, I believe two and a half. My parents put the ball in my hands. Um, I started playing organized basketball at like three. And yeah, really my parents, my mom and my dad put the basketball in my hands and I ran with it ever since. I just fell in love with it. Like I was, I was good at football, but I don't like getting hit every play. And then uh, I was just better at basketball. It just always came natural to me. And it's definitely been worth it to be at the Division I level. I mean, basketball kept me out of a lot of trouble, kept me busy, uh, kept me focused, um, kept me focused in school because I knew I needed school to be able to play basketball. So it just kept me focused on my life. It blessed me to be at such a beautiful school like Cal Poly with a Division I scholarship and um, could just set me up for my future. Just bouncing a ball like people say but like it's really saved my life and helped my life. Any decision that I made I kind of thought like oh would this affect me playing this weekend will my mom take me out of basketball this weekend because I did this or so I knew like all the decisions I made were like to be able to play on the court and uh, to see the f smile that puts on my family's face to see me out there playing and everything and to see how far I came and just to, how it brings my family together when, they, when I go back home the Big West, most of the games are near my house, so to have all my family in one spot and see that basketball really did that, it helps a lot and just brings a lot of joy to me. Uh, coming to be a Mustang, when I uh, came on my visit, it was actually my first visit that I took after the, my junior college season, and just how much the coaching staff cared about me getting my degree and cared about me uh, playing basketball and me succeeding. I just felt like it was the right spot when I was there. And I talked it over with my family. And I actually committed on my visit. So yeah, I felt like that was the right spot for me. I went through the recruiting process before when I was in high school. And as a lot of people know, it was kind of stressful. So when I felt it was the right decision, I didn't want to mess around with any time and prolong that process. And just went ahead and followed my heart. I feel like we're a high energy team. I feel like we're fighters. We, as you see, our season hasn't gone as we planned, but we're never giving up. We come to practice with the same energy, like we won 10 in a row, and that's the thing I love about our team. We're always gonna fight, we're always gonna compete, compete. and in practice, you're not, you couldn't tell that we're on losing streak. We're gonna come and fight every day, and we know that the next game is a new opportunity to turn our season around. We know we can play with anybody in the conference, and it just, show, it just uh, gives us motivation that we can still get there no matter where you place in the conference. It's just all about what you make happen at Honor Center. Just us playing together and playing with that chip on our shoulder and going in as the underdog like they did in 2014. I believe they were the last seed going in and they did that. So we, we saw it and we know it can happen and we believe in ourselves and we believe that we can make something happen.